Hello friends, in this lecture I will be dealing with one important concept of most efficient channel. This concept is relevant for both fluid mechanics and soil and water conservation engineering. In this video 1.1 I will take the theoretical part and one important problem and in 1.2 I will take more uh, complex numerical problem. So let's begin. This is me Abhay Agrawal. I completed my M.Tech from IIT Kharagpur. So let's begin with the Manning's equation. Well, this equation is mostly used to calculate the velocity of flow. As I think you all will be knowing that what is discharge rate. Discharge is nothing but the multiplication of area into velocity. And this Manning equation is, is used to calculate the velocity. What is Manning equation? Manning equation is V equal to 1 by N R to the power 2 by 3 into S to the power 1 by 2. So this is the Manning equation. Please sit with one pen and paper so that simultaneously you can write and remember. This is the very important equation. You must remember this. So what is the R and A and S here? This R is known as the hydraulic radius which is the ratio of a by P. This A is same as this A. That is the cross sectional area. And P is the weighted perimeter. Please remember this term. This is the weighted perimeter. Then what is the slope? This slope is the channel slope. Not the side slope. See, here two slopes are there in the consideration. One is the cross sectional slope of the channel. Suppose a channel is trapezoidal in section or rectangular in section then there will be one side slope of that channel and one is your entire length of channel suppose 1 kilometer 2 kilometer so what is the channel slope or bed slope that is this is capital S okay so please understand this difference between channel slope and cross sectional slope okay so as I told you this A is cross sectional area and this P is the weighted perimeter and this is known as the hydraulic radius. Sometimes in question they ask directly to calculate the hydraulic radius. So that is nothing but the ratio of A and P and this is the channel slope. So I already explained what is the difference between channel slope and side slope. One more important term is there that is known as the conveyance of channel. So this term is known as the conveyance. You remember that's why I wrote S to the power 1 by 2 as separate. This is conveyance of channel while 1 by N R to the power 2 by 3 into S to the 1 power 1 by 2. That is the velocity. And what is this small n? This is small n is nothing but the Manning roughness coefficient that will be given in the question. Or general value of this n is 0 0.04. So when you will put the value in all meter then the velocity of Q will come as meter cube per second. I have repeatedly say, said you in this uh, my lecture, you please pay attention in the dimension. So let's carry forward this. Here, now we will jump into the concept of most efficient channel. In the question, when you are, whenever you get this term most efficient channel or most economical channel or channel with the minimum cross section or channel with most maximum weighted perimeter then they are nothing but they are talking about this same concept the concept of most efficient channel whatever term I said you you please note down this term so let's begin with general equation whenever they will say the most economic section or most efficient channel the relationship between base width of the channel and the depth of flow is defined by this equation this is B equal to 2D tan theta by 2 where B is the base width of channel D is the depth of flow and this theta is the side slope of the channel cross section this is not the slope of the bed what I discussed you that is the capital S to the power 1 by 2 this theta is calculated by the side slope so I will explain this you see this so here for rectangular section suppose B is the base width and D is the depth of the channel then what will be the relationship between these two 
see here there cannot be a, a side slope because for rectangular section this this is always one is to one uh, means what is the angle here it is 90 degree so you directly put the value of theta as 90 degree so what you will get 10 45 degree that is one means in in case of the most efficient channel if it is rectangular then base width is two times of depth of flow in the numerical this is most important to remember also in one mark question they ask for most efficient channel what is the value of base width then it is directly two times depth now take the more uh, complex situation in case of trapezoidal so suppose in trapezoidal the equation will be same for any channel cross section only this value of theta will change for rectangular section it will be always 90 degree means you can directly remember b equal to 2d but in case of uh, most uh, trapezoidal section it will change how it will change let's see suppose a trapezoidal section says it has side slope of 1 raised to 2 what does this imply it implies that horizontal raised to vertical means you made one trapezoidal section you draw this dash dash line so this portion this length is 1 means the ratio of this length divided by this depth this is 1 raised to 2 it is saying this means horizontal ratio vertical this is very crucial concept many students do not understand this so please pay attention in upcoming two or three slides including this slide okay so this is the side slope directly you write means ratio of horizontal to the vertical now in case of the most efficient channel the value of this theta is 60 degree if they do not mention about the side slope if they mention about the side slope then the value of theta will change that will not remain 60 degree but if they not give the side slope value then the value of theta will remain 60 degree and what is this theta this theta is nothing but this angle the angle of uh, their hypotenuse this side to the horizontal so this is the theta that is 60 degree so if this is 60 degree then this angle will become 30 degree and this will become 60 degree so now if you want to calculate the value of theta for this 1 raised to 2 then what will be the value tan theta suppose this is theta so theta will become perpendicular divided by base means tan theta will be equal to 2 divided by 1 so i will calculate this one angle in an coming side so let's see so what i said side slope is 1 raised to 2 means ratio of this horizontal to vertical that is 1 raised to 2 now I want to calculate the value of theta. How I can calculate? See, this vertic horizontal ratio vertical is 1 by 2 equal to, suppose I made this distance as x and this depth of flow as t. So if I know the depth of flow, then I can cal calculate this value of x, which is this. And if I want to calculate this hypotenuse, then by applying Pythagoras theorem, this will become equal to under root x square plus d square so now what will be the my top width top width will be equal to base width that is b plus this x plus this x okay and this x how i can calculate i can calculate this x using depth of flow and the side slope which is given here now what is my area area of this trapezoidal section is top width plus base width divided by 2 into depth of flow i know my base width as b i know my top width from here and i know the depth of flow so i can calculate area then what will be the perimeter perimeter will be this side plus this side plus this side so you make summation of all these three sides now i will calculate the if I know the depth, how I can calculate the value of B? So, as I said you, you use the general equation, which is tan theta by 2. Now, you will say, uh, what should I use this value of theta? 60 degree or something else? So, as I said you, whenever in the question, they have mentioned about the side slope, then don't use the value of theta as 60 degree. 
then what you will use you have to calculate that value how you have to calculate like this that tan theta so i said you that this is the theta okay so you know tan theta equal to perpendicular divided by base so what is perpendicular that is 2 and what is base that is 1 so perpendicular by base then whatever you will get the value of theta you put that value here and from there by knowing the depth you calculate the value of b once you know the value of b value of d and from this you can calculate x then all the values you know and by dividing this area divided by perimeter you will know the value of hydraulic radius then put all this value into the for calculation of v in manning's equation and from there you can calculate the discharge this is the all process we will once we will solve one numerical problem then all this process will be more clearer to you okay so please pay attention i will show you some more formula then after this we will close this lecture and in le next lecture we will uh, solve one numerical problem so here for most efficient channel for trapezoidal section all these things i have said but i have summarized in this slide so this is most important slide see if side slope is given then what you have to calculate calculate the theta using that side slope as i showed you in the previous slide like this you have to calculate the value of theta okay so use this theta in general equation then calculate dimension but what if side slope is not given you directly use the value of theta as 60 degree then you calculate uh, by that general equation relationship between b and d and then calculate the other dimension okay so now this parabolic section you will not get uh, in this uh, fluid mechanics book but it has been given in book of soil and water conservation engineering so for parabolic section the formula of area is 2 by 3 t d and the value of parameter is t plus 8 d square divided by 3 t what will be the unit for this area meter square and what will be the value of t meter so d is the depth of flow same uh, same denotion we are using and t is the top width t is the top width so you put these two value and calculate area and t by dividing these two we can calculate hydraulic radius and from there you calculate the velocity and discharge okay in 2010 once one question has been asked based on these two formula so i request you to search that 2010 gate question and solve that that will be beneficial for you so let's quickly see this what what is the relationship between the base width and depth of flow for most efficient channel in case of rectangular and trapezoidal section so i said you you use this general equation for rectangular section you use 40 90 degree so what will be the relation for rectangular section d equal to 2d and in case of trapezoidal see nothing has been given here no side slope nothing so what you will use you will use 60 degree so 60 by 2 30 so 10 30 degree is 1 by root 3 so he, you here 2d divided by root 3 so this is relationship so i request you to calculate the value of r that is a by t for this trapezoidal section or you can directly remember the value of r is for both rectangular and trapezoidal section it is equal to d by 2 means the value of hydraulic radius for both rectangular and trapezoidal section is equal to d by 2 that is depth of flow divided by 2 if you will remember this directly then it will save your calculation time otherwise you have to again by using this relation you will uh, you will use this one now if 10 theta is 60 degree then horizontal raised to vertical will be root 3 raised to 1 because if this is 60 degree then what is 10 60 root 3 means vertical is root 3 and horizontal is 1 because 10 theta equal to perpendicular by base so from here now you will do all the calculations but if you remember directly value of r is d by 2 then a by you have to only calculate the area in order to calculate the discharge you don't need to calculate the value of perimeter so that much time you can save now in next lecture we will see the 
न्यूमेरिकल 